crib. Bad bitch speak pig Latin. Test the next with a new seal. Stick a price with the white bricks. Ray Kwan with the root beer. Coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Nate Diaz and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck, doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change position to secure top. Game Greg gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground. Oh! There's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it. Oh. And now Masvidal's strike attempt there is blocked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. DC. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, it's, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. Oh, you got to love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was going to take it to this guy that is... Whoa! What is his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. With 90 seconds to go in round one. Well, any time you are in a ground... Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, it's secured with his head. I'm trying, I'm trying. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch he go parallel right next to the ball. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Game bread gets back up again. So just over 20 total strikes. It now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Oh, 
man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The tough... And just like that, here we go with round two. Ready? Nate Diaz. Ready? Versus Jorge Masvidal. That is a killer jab there for Jorge Gaines with Masvidal. Big picture might be the best boxer on this roster. I mean, he may just be the best boxer on this roster from Miami, Florida, Cuban heritage, a guy that personifies Miami and he's put on a Miami type performance tonight. Flashy and beautiful. Great job by Jorge. Able to work it in with the takedown. Oh, powerful double leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be nice. Give Tina tip here. He needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, wow. That happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, working inside the close guard now. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, so 43 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Game Bread Moss. Oh. That's a seven to blow right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Now he's going to try to attack from over here. Oh! He's going to turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Submission defense there. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. All right, side control now. Gets the elbow up into the target. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. 
Gerhardt working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. to the head there by Diaz. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Diaz. Using his strength there to posture up, we'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Diaz is back in full mount. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. And they separate. Big elbow there, Lance. Strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner. Another takedown attempt. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Stuffs what a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring the legs all the way up on the shoulders and just control you. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like this is a position to really just slow everything down. Are there submissions? Yes. But the ideal thing in this position is to slow you down from damaging. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfectly. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, he might have got it with a choke. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Diaz going for the takedown. He misses. 70 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Well, still connecting on about four of every 10 attempts. 40% the accuracy right now against Nate Diaz. Takedown defense holds up. All right, DC, he's got the over-under now. He's got the over-under. He's going to look to lift that underhook and start to fight and land punches. He's real good at dirty boxing. <laughs> Unable to land with that punch. 
Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Nice one-two there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Back to the feet now. Just be a matter of time. Getting tighter. And there it is. He got him. Yeah, great job 